بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر آڈینس ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس پری لوڈڈ آئی یو ایلز ایز آف انسرشن دا آبجیکٹ از ٹو شیئر دا ایکسپیرینس وتھ تھری ڈفرینٹ پری لوڈڈ آئی یو ایل سسٹمس فسٹ آف آل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین فیز آئی یو ایل ون ٹو تھری پری لوڈڈ آئی یو ایل انسرشن سسٹم وچ کنسٹس آف اے پلنجر اینڈ اے کارٹریج The first step is to assemble the plunger with the cartridge and then a little viscoelastic is injected into the cartridge and is filled with the viscoelastic material and as we push the plunger the sleeve moves into the cartridge taking the IUL in front of it. The IUL unfolds and is injected very smoothly into the bag. The second video clip is about Zeiss ZO Stabi IUL injection system. After routine FACO, the plunger is taken. The cartridge is parked separately. and both the arrows on the cartridge and on the plunger are matched with each other the plunger is gently pushed into the cartridge once it locks itself the lock is broken away is rotated upside down The viscoelastic is injected into the nozzle through that little hole and the system is ready. The IUL moves inside the nozzle but here there is no sleeve. The plastic V-shaped plunger is pushing the IUL haptic in front of it. The eye is stabilized. The nozzle is a little bigger than our 2.75 mm FACO in CN. So we simply inject it on the lip and we don't go inside the anterior chamber. Once IUL goes in, the rest of the maneuvering can be very easily undertaken with the help of a Simco cannula. The ears or the haptics of the IUL are placed one by one inside the capsular bag. The viscoelastic is aspirated from front of the IUL as well as irrigation aspiration cannula is taken behind the IUL haptic. to clear the viscoelastic material. So once the PC polishing, anterior capsular polishing is complete, the viscoelastic is removed, the two paracentesis and the frequency and is hydrated as usual. And there is an additional maneuver here in which to handle the pre-op astigmatism, steep axis being 180 degrees, I have enlarged the 2.75 mm in CN with the help of a 3.2 mm knife. Another cut is being placed 180 degrees away. And this little maneuver decreases the astigmatism from plus minus two diopters to plus minus one diopters post-operatively. So both the NCNs are again hydrated and this is how it looked finally. This is a summary of the steps. Now we come to a truly preloaded IOL system 
that is chroma quatrix iul after routine phaco this whole assembly comes blister packed and there is no need of assembling the cartridge and the plunger it comes in one mess there is only one lock which needs to be pushed on the lateral side of this cartridge and then you gently push the plunger and the IUL is placed in the nozzle and the beauty with this system is you don't need any viscoelastic either to be injected into the cartridge or even you can implant the IUL without injecting the viscoelastic in the anterior chamber as well as you see in this video clip there is irrigation line in one hand through the paracentesis and the IUL is being injected through the FACO and CN. The IUL is 4 haptic design. Once is delivered, rest of the placement of the IUL haptics can be very easily undertaken with the help of same irrigation aspiration cannula. The wound is hydrated. And here we move to another video clip, same procedure, irrigation aspiration line through the paracentesis, maintaining the anterior chamber, and the other hand is taking care of the IUL inside that injection system is placed again on the lip of the wound and by engaging the cartridge into the incision the IUL is just injected pointing towards the posterior capsule and again the final positioning is performed with the help of Simco cannula, the IUL ears or the haptics are placed one by one inside the bag. Very simple procedure, no viscoelastic has been used, so there is no need to aspirate. Just positioning the IUL and removal of the rest of the cortical matter formation of the anterior chamber and that's it so we conclude all three preloaded IOL options are quite effective safe and time saving techniques for hydrophilic foldable IOL implantation during FACO surgery and especially the technique which we observed during our last two clips with chroma quatrix or haptic iul it comes truly preloaded and makes the life of the surgeon very easy the iul doesn't need any handling and it saves the time as well this video was processed edited and recorded at Wapta Teaching Hospital Complex 210 Firozpur Road, Lahore. Thank you all for your attention. Thank you very much.